Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser. Welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain Television. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued today Decree 67 for this year, appointing Abdullah Al Balushi Director General for Technical Affairs at the Information Affairs Authority at the rank of Under Secretary. His Majesty also accredited and issued Law 31, replacing the term the Trade Union determined by the Minister with the term General Federation of Bahrain Trade Unions in the Private Sector Labour Law issued by Law 36 of 2012. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa met today at Al Ghudabiya Palace with the British Ambassador to Bahrain, Ian Lindsay. The Crown Prince said the international community must shoulder its responsibilities towards the destruction and killing of innocent Palestinian women, children and citizens in the Gaza Strip. He also called on the international community to support initiatives that achieve a ceasefire and speed up finding a solution for the current situation. He also affirmed the importance of intensifying international efforts to combat terrorism and extremism and to reinforce security and stability in the region. His Royal Highness stressed that the Bahraini-British relations are based on an historic exchange of mutual interest and understanding of both countries' regional and international issues, especially regional peace and stability in the Middle East. The Crown Prince noted that the joint cooperation and cooperation between Bahrain and the United Kingdom reflects the advanced level of their bilateral relations. For his part, the British ambassador expressed pleasure in meeting the Crown Prince and commended his keenness to continue to develop relations between the two countries. The Deputy Premier and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Social Services, Media, Transportation and Communication, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, chaired the committee's meeting today at Al Ghudabiya Palace with the mandate of following up the implementation of the Cabinet's directives to take all precautionary measures to prevent the corona and Ebola viruses reaching Bahrain. Present at the meeting were the Minister of State for Follow-up Affairs, Mohamed al Matawa, the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Dr. Juma al khabi the Minister of Health, Sadiq al-Shahabi, and officials from various ministries. The Deputy Premier directed the relevant ministries to keep abreast of the geographical spread of the two viruses and to take all the necessary precautions to ensure that Bahrain remains virus-free. He added that the Cabinet's decision to suspend entry visas from countries affected by the Ebola virus was a temporary solution to prevent the virus from reaching the Kingdom. The Health Minister confirmed that there are no suspected cases of Ebola virus in Bahrain, stressing that all preventative measures have been taken. He said communication was ongoing with the World Health Organization to follow up on the latest developments regarding the spread of the virus. In line with the directives of the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organisation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Bahrain's second consignment of relief aid for Gaza has arrived in Marka Airport, Jordan, ready to be transported overland to the Gaza Strip. In cooperation with the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees, the UNRWA and the World Health Organization. The RCO chairman praised His Majesty the King's directives on providing aid for the Palestinian people and for standing by them in their plight. He said that Bahrain National Committee for supporting the Palestinian people in Gaza would continue to support the Palestinians in Gaza, saying there were further initiatives to come. He also hailed the huge support extended to the RCO by the government of Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, the promotion provided by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the contribution of the Bahraini people in assisting the Palestinian people, as well as the efforts of the Bahrain Olympic Committee in delivering relief and medical consignments to Gaza. The Secretary-General of the RCO, Dr Mustafa al Said, underlined His Majesty the King's supportive programme for the Palestinian people that has won international recognition. He explained that the second consignment contained more than 40 tonnes of medicines, relief and food supplies to help meet the needs of the people of Gaza. The representative of the Commissioner-General of the UNRWA, Ambassador Peter Ford, the Director of UNRWA's Health Department, Dr Akhiro Seita, 
Bahrain's ambassador to Jordan, Nasser al khabi the director of UNRWA's Foreign Relations and Projects, Mania Minna, a delegation from the Jordan Hashemite Charity Organization and a number of Arab and international news agencies attended the arrival of Bahrain's relief aid consignment in Jordan. They praised the support of Bahrain's leadership and government for the Palestinian people and the development projects set up by Bahrain to support the people in Gaza.